Hello, I've managed to pick up a, a bit of a spares car for my Savage XSS or XSSS rather. So here are the bits I've got. It is pretty much uh, a standard RTR truck. So it's obviously got the uh, standard Savage Flux XS body shell. And you can see most of the chassis is here. It has got all four drive shafts. It's missing the hexes, missing the centre drive shafts. I have got the gearbox, which is here. And I've also got uh, the bit that goes across there, the handle or roll bar. It's got both front and rear bumpers. I've got all four of standard plastic shocks with the springs and the perches there. It's missing the top of the radio box. Uh, for some reason it's got two ESC holders. Not sure why that is. One of them is slightly broken. And then this is the cover for the motor and servo side. Uh, however it's got a screw snapped off in it uh, with this bit here which is supposed to be uh, just there on the chassis you can see where that's snapped off it's a little bit dirty it's to be expected it's a second hand RC car the guy was going to uh, fix it up and uh, get it running and to be fair I don't think it would cost that much to do that it probably needs some uh, bearings because that, uh, that drive shaft isn't looking too good in there uh, so yeah, I could even probably make a second car out of this, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I'm just going to uh, keep it for parts for my SS and clean it up a little bit. Now the other nice bonus as well is that it came with a standard ESC, which is a uh, Castle, basically Sidewinder 3 or 2 with a fan on it, I think. This is the older one. I think they use Hobby Wing ESCs in the Savage XS now. It looks like it's got like 4mm bullets. So the battery side and then probably the same for the motor side as well. So that's a, a nice little bonus if that even works. I don't know whether it does. I'll test it out. But it's a Vapor Pro ESC. So yeah, it's uh, not a bad little bundle. I did get the standard wheels and tyres as well, although they are pretty worn out, so I suspect this car has been used quite a lot previously. I'll have to check the drive shafts and drive cups. But yeah, it is uh, pretty much all there. I could probably make a whole second car out of this, to be honest. Um, but I'll get it cleaned up anyway, and uh, see if anything else is missing or broken. So that's it for tonight, uh, these are all the bits I've cleaned here, so both the front and rear bumper, the ESC tray over there, got the uh, body post, both those ESC mounts, I haven't really cleaned the shocks yet, cleaned the front and rear arms, taken those off, um, the front hinge pins are slightly bent, one's a bit S shaped and one's a bit bananaed, the rear ones are perfectly straight. Um, the drive shafts all look to be uh, okay actually, they go out to the dog bones, the rear drive cups I've got them out, I haven't bothered to get the front ones out yet because I only had a 2mm uh, screwdriver, I didn't really want to get another one out. Cleaned up the uh, ESC so that looks a little bit better now, probably going to take that sticker that's peeling off of it though. Um, cleaned inside the motor and uh, servo cover and uh, just quickly wiped over the gearbox and the roll hoop and the shell. The shell is uh, actually looking uh, pretty decent. It's got some scrapes on the front there and on the top and at the back it is worn through just there. But yeah, the, uh, the shell isn't actually cracked. Um, especially at the back it's in pretty decent condition which is surprising for a Savage XS because normally uh, they're quite destroyed. So I'm continuing rebuilding the uh, Savage XS, the RTR one here. You can see I've taken um, a load of it apart now. Got the TVPs um, apart. Got the front and rear apart. I'm just taking apart one of the ends at the minute. 
and uh, you can see these bearings really needed replacing pretty badly this one has come apart completely um, well, thankfully it hadn't already come apart it came apart as I was pulling it off the drive cup um, so the gears themselves seem perfectly fine which is good all the teeth are good which is excellent as you can see there so yeah definitely need to replace the bearings on these Savage excesses quite a lot clearly it's never been done also got the bearings out the hubs here and they're all metal shielded bearings and I have got um, a new set here two new sets of bearings actually that are rubber shielded one for the XS RTR and one for my SS so yep I'm gonna carry on rebuilding but always remember to change your bearings if you have a Savage excess you might want to check that and these are the ones right on the inside that are hardest to get to as well so I bet not many people look at them um, another couple of problems I've found with the truck as well is these pins that go in the top of the uh, hubs here are really hard to get out for some reason because they're stuck in there and it's a blind hole and obviously the drive cups in there so you can't push them out from the other side so I've put some WD-40 on them I'm not sure how to get them out obviously I've removed the screw and I've tried a magnet trying to pull them up but that hasn't worked so I might have to glue something on the top and maybe pull them out that way uh, the other thing as well is one of the front suspension arms here oh yeah, on the inside there I don't know if you can see that it is uh, slightly cracked on the edge so I might replace that as well but yeah other than that seems to be going okay so far the diffs look alright I'm actually going to put oil in these diffs because they are sealed so they had grease in them originally the grease was also completely dry both inside and outside of the diffs so I'm going to wipe all that off, re-grease them, put oil in them then it should be much better, much smoother so unfortunately I couldn't finish rebuilding the diffs because I don't have any diff gaskets yet so that is in pieces for now uh, I did go ahead and rebuild the gearbox and reset the slipper clutch though so that is all uh, sorted inside there now I've put the rocket motor on it uh, 3900 kV 540 that I tested the other week I was going to put this in the SS but I'm keeping it in the RTR one just for now just because that's what I had um, on hand and I couldn't really be bothered to take the other one out I've put new bearings in the gearbox as well so it's now got a rubber shield bearing on the front and back of the gearbox so that should help uh, less dirt getting in and also uh, last quite a bit longer it's nice and smooth uh, for now I've just rebuilt the diff cover or diff case and bulkhead but without the diff in it just so I don't lose all the bits and yeah we haven't really done that much progress today I did clean up the uh, TVPs as well and redo all of those and uh, the steering as well steering rack servo saver got that sorted out so yeah that's it for today for you it will have been two minutes since the last video or even two seconds since the last part of the video but for me uh, it's now April and the last bit was probably done in January so I have no idea where I'm at <laughs> I think uh, last time I'd started rebuilding the front end but I didn't have any diff gaskets or something maybe so that's not got any oil in or I hope it hasn't because it's screws are loose uh, I think I'd rebuilt the transmission with a rocket motor and so I've got some parts because the parts have arrived uh, only like four months later got some bearings so a full set of bearings um, we have the diff gaskets so that gives me a clue I needed some of those I've got some pins which are 
hex pins which I needed to fix the SS as well so I'm guessing I need some of those. Uh, I got a centre drive shaft, two of those, so I'm not sure why I got two, but I did. It's one of front and one of rear, no, I got two anyway, let's, I don't know whether I got a spare one or whether I need both. Got some hinge pins, which I remember needing those, um, so there we go. And I got this brace, which I don't know whether I even needed that. I think I have all the braces, so I'm not entirely sure why I got that brace. Because, uh, I don't know, I seem to have one here, and then one on the back of there as well. Maybe one was bent or something, I don't remember. And this one has both on as well. So I'm not sure why I got that. Uh, it was these screws that took like three months or whatever for the order to be shipped, because they were in shadow stock. And then finally, I've got shock caps and shock mounting parts. Some other random plastic bits in here. So I don't know why I got those either. I'm guessing some of the uh, shock bits which are in there are missing. So, yeah, let's carry on and uh, see where I get stuck basically. I think I just need these first. Uh, so we'll refill this diff. Here we go, got some fresh oil in there and the new gasket and uh, in this one I'm going with 5,000 weight oil rather than 7,000, this is the fast tracks one bought this quite a while ago so the SS I put 7,000 in but I'm going to go with 5,000 in this one uh, just a bit lighter no real reason, just feel like it Pull the diff in now, it was a little bit tight I've reduced the number of shims uh, by one. I put one on each side and it's nice and smooth now. I'll put some uh, grease on it later uh, so I don't get my hands dirty while it's open. Um, so yeah, we're going to open the hinge pins next and put the arms on and then uh, get some new bearings in these hubs and put those on as well. We have put new bearings uh, on the diff and new bearings um, going into here. Now on my SS I put a rubber shielded one on the outside of here but on the inside I put metal uh, shield whereas these I'm putting all the rubber shield ones in because I've just got the full set and I've got it apart so I might as well. Refilled the shocks with some 80 weight shock oil which came with the Savage XS SS out of uh, this little bottle here um, a couple of them were about half full and the others had about three quarters full. They still aren't perfect, um, but they'll do for now. I'm also going to put new uh, balls in all the ends of these, which is probably why I got those shock parts. And a couple of the top ones are missing as well. So we're going to sort those out. I've also finished rebuilding the front ends, just need to put the shocks on. And obviously the bumper, but I can do that uh, a bit later on. And uh, yeah, it's uh, going pretty well so far. Got the RTR Savage here, Savage XS. And I've actually gone and put the X-Team ESC in. So this is an 80 amp ESC with a Dean's connector. Uh, just because the Castle one doesn't have a switch and that was annoying. So I've put this in instead. Uh, I've also... Uh, the cross brace which is supposed to go in this bit here wasn't included with the truck so I've just made some uh, steel spacers to go in for now a 16.5mm on this side and 17 on this side as you can see they're not quite tight and that is because I also don't have the bolts which go all the way through because they're 64mm or something random so I've just made some all thread and put nuts either side for now so that should work just to hold it on for now but I'm going to get the uh, the proper bolts I probably won't get this proper brace because uh, the, you have to buy the whole gearbox housing just to get the little brace in the top uh, I've also not got a lid for here so I'm just going to leave that as it is for now it's uh, perfectly fine as long as I don't run it in the wet so I did get the front end all back together with new screws 
uh, mostly. You can see a couple of them there. The silver ones, these are zinc coated screws rather than black ones. I've put a servo in as well. This uh, part here is still broken off. So what I did was I got a longer 16mm screw and put it in there and uh, it only threads in most of the way into there which is a bit of a bodge but it's like 20 quid for a set of uh, chassis plates I don't really want to spend that on this truck so yeah it's uh, almost good to go I just need to put the wheels and tyres on and the wheel hexes and I need to put the front shocks on and then we should be good to go finally I've got my Savage XS RTR up and going which is actually the one that came with this body originally you can see it's got no lid for the receiver um, but I've put the X-Team ESC in here, the 80 amp one and it's just connected to the uh, Intellect 10,000 because that's the only one I've got a Deems connector for at the minute and it's got some really bad slow steering servo in there which you can see supposed to be 25 kilograms and uh, yeah it seems to be working good there's a wheelie even in the air these tyres are very bald though so it'll be interesting to see how those hold up but hopefully the next video you see of this should be testing it whether I do need to get this connect sorted out so we'll see about that next so to get the truck together I actually had to make these custom steel spaces in here and I did actually manage to find um, a proper uh, bolt, I had one from my other truck so it's got one proper bolt and one that's all thread so yeah it's all back together now, the XTM ESC seems to work well and uh, interestingly this uh, motor and ESC combo with the Rocket 3900 KV motor in there and this X-Team 80 amp ESC seems to be quite a bit smoother than the G-Cool RC or the Ghoul RC motor and the Armour BLX ESC so I'll swap the ESCs in and out a bit and then maybe swap the motors round and see what combination is the smoothest but this definitely feels smoother so far than the um, Armour and Ghoul RC combo.